Hello! In this video, I will show you how to put together the tall skinny tumbler box from Simply Crafty SVGs. And this is size for a hog 30 ounce skinny stainless steel tumbler. So you can uh, look those specs up on our product details, which there's a link below, so you can see if it fits maybe a similar size that you need. So here I'm just showing you how to fold the lid. So we're just folding it on the score lines, as you can see, and you see we fold the tabs back. And before we assemble it, you know, you can either, it's an optional to add the panels, but um, I get this question a lot, especially for fo folks that basically one of their only paper crafts is tumbler boxes, because they make a lot of customized tumblers, which are, you know, beautiful. So they ask whether they, um, well, they have issues with stability of the box. Obviously, this box is not for shipping. Um, it is really for display. But putting the panels, and not necessarily the lid, but putting the panels on the actual box do strengthen the box, the sides. So I always say if it makes it prettier too, you can theme it. Um, I happen to have a lot of paper because I'm a paper crafter, um, but some do not. But um, if you do use a higher weight cardstock you might not need the paper on the side but all those all the information of what kind of suggested uh, paper to use is on the product details and again if you want to look at the product details the link is below in the notes so you see we just centered all these panels so now we can put it together so I'm using squat scotch quick dry glue you could use a similar, but the reason I do that, it, it dries quickly and it dries, it's strong. So you can see I've just lined up the edge of the, uh, the lid edge to the tab fold on the adjacent lid. So we fold in the tab and line up that tab fold with the adjacent edge. And then you want to apply pressure to adhere. And you want to make sure you hold it long enough for your glue to basically dry because you don't want to be gluing the next tab and pull on that one. So that's just a basic. And again, I use, uh, there's tacky glue would work too because that's something commonly used, but I do use Scotch Quick Dry. Because most of the people that email me for tumbler boxes, they, like I said, they're typically not full time paper crafters. So I like to, I'm trying to give more information on my newer videos. So if you fold in all the tabs before you start gluing, that'll be helpful. I had to kind of bend that one in. And then the nice part is we can just put it aside to dry. So now we're going to fold the box pieces. So there's score lines. You want to fold it nice and crisp. Now mine folds fairly easy because I have a my score lines are kind of cut. They're not using the score tool. So if you do use a score tool or something like that and you don't cut the dash lines, if you cut the line, the score lines, it'll be nice and easy to fold. But if you use something like a Cricut score tool or a score wheel, you might have to apply a little bit more pressure to get a, a crisp edge. So now we're just going to center all the panels. And I'm going to go through this section rather quickly. So usually what I do is I start at the bottom and I know you can't see that, but I'm just kind of eyeballing making sure I have the right the same uh, distance on the right and left and the and the bottom. And then once I get it in place on the bottom, I slowly roll it up to the top. So for this next piece, just make sure you're putting it on correctly because it is not the same size on the top and bottom. So make sure it's situated correctly before you glue it, attempt to glue it on because you don't want to have to tear it back off. So for this, I do almost a similar thing, but for this one, you can just go towards the middle and there'll be a little space around the middle panel. So there's going to be a little edge and you want a little edge around the that middle so you can see the box paper. And then of course it should be this pretty much the same distance on left and right. 
and the top and bottom. So we'll continue with these solid ones for the next two. Again, because they're so long, because this is a really tall box. I think it, it, I think it may be the tallest box I've ever designed. And it was done, um, designed per request. The thing is, is, is you're probably not going to want to make mass production of these because it takes uh, three sheets of cardstock and you have to have 12 by 12. Um, and we do recommend, I use 80 pound uh, American Craft textured, but most likely um, most people don't use that. So not if you're not a regular paper crafter. So, but you want to get something similar. So now that those are on, we're going to move on to assembling. So let's get them the right way because I have to get those, those little flaps belong on the bottom. And side by side, we just want to add glue to that long tab. Then we're going to take that right piece and align that edge either on or to the right of that tab fold. So right on the tab fold. You want to make sure it's aligned on top and bottom as well and apply pressure. And you can just flip it over and we'll just make sure you want to continue to make sure that's nice and secure before you go on to the next step. You're just going to fold over the other flap with the tab on it. Add glue. And be careful not to get it. You can get a little bit in the inside. It's not going to hurt because obviously you can have a, um, you still want to glue it to the inside you're going to have a cup in there. And then you're going to glue it shut there. And it should line up for you. So the next step, normally I'd have you do the flaps on the bottom first, but this, the way that I'm going to show you actually works out. Um, there's two pieces with tabs on it, so you want to fold those tabs. And I know you can't quite see it, but they're going to glue underneath the areas where there's no flap. So like that. And I'm going to zoom in to show you. So you're going to add glue to the tab on one of those pieces with the tabs. And you're going to go kind of slide it in carefully and then make sure that you pull it out just enough to line up that bottom edge with the tab fold. And then just apply pressure. So what's nice about this, you can flatten it and you want to just apply pressure. And we're going to do the same on the other one that doesn't, the last section that doesn't have um, a, a panel down there. So we folded it. Then again, we're lining it up kind of pulling it out until you can see the tab fold on that tab and then just lining up that edge to the tab fold. And you don't want to rush to close it right away. Make sure that the glue is good and dry. And then we'll close it. So one thing to note before you get you watch the remaining of this, um, I am changing the size. I, I changed the size on the bottom. Um, the bottom you'll see them in a, in a minute. I'll, sh I'll tell you when you see them. So you have these little ones. And what, what you're going to end up doing is to add glue to those, both those little ones. And sorry for all the moving around there. Just wanted to get in, in your view. So the way that I have those flaps, are, they don't cover the whole bottom. And the reason I did that was a previous design. Um, but because of this design, I'm able to extend the size. So you can see I fold it over and glue it over right there. But you can see glue still. So when you get the box and you're doing it, it's gonna just you're doing the same method, but it's, it'll be the entire width. So on the second flap, you can just put glue on the flap or on the bottom, bottom of it. Again, they'll be the entire width um, of the box. So and then you can go ahead and apply pressure by reaching your hand in or I use a wooden chopstick because um, they're free when I go out to eat so I have those handy so if you get a pair of those uh, they're a good craft tool for getting in for boxes 
And then this, there's a little additional support. I didn't add glue to it, but you want to glue it down. It's really not that necessary, but it's extra support down there to hold the weight. Now normally I have uh, inserts for the tumbler boxes, but for this one, uh, due to the size of it and the height, uh, I did not add it. So if you're wondering where that was, uh, it would have made it a little bit too large. Well, I hope you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.